Okay, in this video, let's talk about sequence a n so that the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of a n and the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of absolute value of a n. I want them to both converge for the first part, and then I want these two to be both diverge for the second part. So I'm going to come with an example right here for the an that this happens, and then likewise I will give you guys another example of an that this right here happens. All right, so right here we don't really have much condition on an, so you can do a lot of things that you want. Sometimes you have to pay attention to if the question is asking you for like non-negative or like non-decreasing whatsoever for the an. But here, we have a lot of freedom on this. So check this out. All right, first of all, I want both the series of an and the series of the absolute value of an to converge. Now, this part is for both of them to be converged. It's not that bad at all. You can just pick whatever you want, the easy ones. So here is an example. Well, if you take an to be 1 over n squared, that's enough. Why? Because, for example, when you do the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared, well, this is just a p series now. And as you can see, the p right here is 2. And don't tell me it's 2. You have to tell me 2 is bigger than 1, right? So that's why this right here converges. Easy, right? And you can also see that the series as n goes from 1 to infinity. For this part, we need to have the absolute value. And then you put the a n inside, which is this right here. I will just put 1 over n squared here. And you see, I picked the positive version, so the absolute value doesn't really matter, right? So you can just say this is the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n. And of course, this right here converges as well. So this right here, let me just put this down. p is 2 is greater than 1. So yeah, the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared, this right here, it's absolute convergent because the absolute value version of that also converges. And if you want to be fancier, you can actually make this the negative or the alternating version as well. You can also say, or if you want to be fancier, a n is equal to negative 1 raised to the n, or the n minus 1 power, doesn't matter. This is the alternating version of that. This right here, the series, and goes from 1 to infinity of that. Let me just put this down real quick for you. This right here is negative 1 to the n over n squared. This right here converges. And the reason for this one to converge is because you will have to do the alternating series test, right? So I'll just put this down by AST. And if you take the absolute value version of that, 1 to infinity, absolute value of that a n, negative 1 to the n's power over n squared, well, this right here is just the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of the absolute value, you just make everything positive right inside. So we have 1 over n squared. This right here converges. Why? Because we just have that earlier. So in fact, this is so powerful, isn't it? But um, either one, it's OK. Now, for the second part, we want both of the series of a n and the series of the absolute value of a n, both of them to diverge. This right here, if you want to say, the, if you take a n to be negative 1 over, but negative 1 to the nth power over n, this right here is not correct. Eh? This right here is not correct. Because I will tell you the series of negative 1 to the n over n, this right here does converge by a s t, but the series, if you apply the absolute value to that, negative 1 to the nth power over n, this right here is the series as, I'm just not writing down the 1 to infinity anymore. But this right here diverges, right? So this right here is not good. So I see this one converges, so I want both of this and that to diverge. So this is not an example. Hmm, it's okay, let's just run this to the very you know, starting, right? So what we can do is pick anything so that an does not approach zero as n goes to infinity, that will do the work. Well, so I will show you, let's say an is equal to, hmm, let's have some fun right here. Maybe let's say negative 1 to the nth power times n over n plus 17, like this. You can do whatever you want, OK? Seriously. This right here, both of them diverges. Let me show you why. First of all, the series uh, as n goes from 1 to infinity, all right? So negative 1 to the n n over n plus 17. I'll still write that one is equal to 1 to 7 infinity. Anyway, 
This right here diverges. Why? Because if you take a look of this right here, the limit as n goes to infinity of a n, negative 1 to the nth power, n over n plus 17. Notice, if you pick n over n, that's 1. But the problem is that we have negative 1 to the nth power as n goes to infinity. This right here does not exist. And you might notice why I put the dne with dot, 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 right? It's because there was one time that I was grading a test and somebody wrote like this. And then I was wondering, like, why in the world would you like to spell out 1? But then realize the person was trying to write D and E. So I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> but anyway, so that's why, just to make, it my, to make my D look like a D and also the dot, dot, dot. So that's why I put down the D and E with dots. Anyway, this right here is, does not exist. Of course, does not exist. <laughs> is not equal to zero. So as you can see, this right here diverges. Why? By test for divergence. And if you take the absolute value of that, let me just write this down real quick for you guys. Take the absolute value of this, negative 1 to the nth power, n over n plus 17. This right here, OK, you make this positive. So you get the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, n over n plus 17. This right here also diverges by test for divergence. Why? Because if you look at this part, and if you take the limit as n goes to infinity of just n over n plus 17. This right here, the limit is equal to 1. But again, this is not equal to 0. So that's why it diverges by test for divergence. So that's pretty much it. That's the idea for this kind of true false questions. Eh? That's it.